Hi YouTube, um, today is another like super lazy pajama day, um, so sorry I kind of look like a mess, <laughs> um, but it's hot and it's gross and I just don't feel like actually like dressing up at all today. So, um, I actually am writing, uh, posting a review about Troublemaker by Leah Remini. Um, I finished this book last night and I immediately wrote a review to eventually put in my blog. Um, it's not up yet, but hopefully soon. Um, cause this book was just like, honestly, it was fantastic. Um, I've been a huge fan of Leah Remini. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, we watched King and Queens, but even, I mean, she was on Saved by the Bell, stuff like that. And, I mean, I've always loved her. I love Cheers. I'm a Boston girl, so um, I loved her on Cheers. But this book was just, like, it went into so much depth on why she is the way she is and everything that she went through. Because, I mean, honestly, she really does even still believe in the church and what the original intent was. She just doesn't agree with the leadership and she's gone through just so much dealing with everything. And I went into this knowing pretty much nothing about Scientology. I mean, I know Tom Cruise. That's pretty much it. I mean, Tom Cruise, John Travolta, they're all in it. But really, that's all I knew about it. So to learn more about Scientology and just the background to it and, you know, why people think it's a cult and what their real goals are and stuff like that. I mean, it was just fascinating. And like I said, I mean, she still believes in what the original intent was for the church. And I mean, it broke her heart to have to leave. And I mean, you really see that in this book and just the heartbreak and the pain and everything that she went through. Just, ah, oh, I don't know. Like this book just like, I loved it. This is honestly probably now one of my favorite autobiographies. I used it as um, my challenge read, even though I was planning on reading The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. I grabbed this from the library as like a spur of the moment read because I figured, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to put it back on the shelf because I didn't like it. But Oh, it was just so good. I mean, honestly, pick this book up and read it. I don't really read autobiographies. I honestly don't even really like reading about religions. I was raised strictly Baptist and just had a lot of bad experiences and stuff. So I don't even really like reading about religion. Um, I do like celebrities. I mean, I love Leah Remini. Um, I think she's hysterical. She's just loud and funny and just I mean, she's a New York girl, so, I mean, she really is, like, the epitome of that. And also, it has these, it has the, the pictures in it, which I love books that have these. This is, like, my favorite part of books, is when they have these, and just seeing what pictures they felt were important enough to include in their book, it's just, I always think that's cool. Um, also, her, um, her acknowledgement page um I rarely read those and I read this the acknowledgements because they were just so heartfelt and you could just see how much she cares about the people who are in her lives who are in her life um and she has a beautiful uh little message to her daughter which is just honestly it made me cry um, because I already, like, started writing mine to my son if I ever get my book. <sighs> honestly, if I ever get written at this point. Um, so honestly, just pick up this book. It is so, so good. I almost didn't, and I'm, I would have regretted it, honestly, if I had known. It has such good reviews, and this is another one. Honestly, like, if I could give it, like, ten stars out of five, I would. This book was fantastic. So pick it up and read it, and if you've read it, let me know below and what you thought about it, or if there's any other books you think I'd like. So, um, I hope you have an awesome day, and seriously read this book. It's so good. Bye.